How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We're going to be working on our brake uh, rod for the uh, hub brake on this uh, go-kart. I'm sure you guys all checked out the go-kart. This is one part I didn't show you and I'm going to show you how to build a homemade uh, brake rod. Okay, you want to get a measurement from whichever hole you want to use. I'm going to be using the top one because the bottom one kind of lines up with my tie rod. So this top one will be just above the tie rod. <clears throat> then I came back here to the back, take your brake pad and hold it up. I held it up with my hand like this and uh, got a measurement back to it. And I came up with four foot one half inch. So we're going to make it just a little bit longer. And uh, we're going to make it a little bit longer and then we'll cut it off where we need it. So I'll go about 42 and a half inches. All right, what I have here is some quarter inch dowel, and I get this in 20 foot sticks. I think I pay four to six dollars for 20 foot of it. Uh, and I get that at a uh, place where they sell steel. I don't go to like Lowe's or anything like that because it's too expensive. If you go to where you're steel, you get a steel supplier, you can go to him and pick up this stuff actually a good price. I think it's four or six bucks for 20 foot. So we're gonna go ahead and mark off what we need and get it cut. All right, a lot of you guys know me for uh, building the go-karts out there. You guys are just subscribing. I also build tools. This is a forge. We're gonna be using this forge to make our brake uh, rod. up in the forge and we'll make the piece that's going to go into our brake pad. good all right what I'm gonna do now is just drill a couple holes in this guy so we'll have some adjustment all right now in order to line this up with this brake pad it needs to be bent over that way a little bit, so we're just going to take it to the vise and bend it cold. The battery kind of went dead on me, so... Okay, hopefully that put it over not too much. So we'll go ahead and get that hooked up.
All right, uh, we got the paint on our lever here or our rod. Uh, we drill a little hole in here. We got a little pin in here, a little washer. Everything seems to be working really good. Um, that's just a little homemade uh, rod. Everything's just homemade pretty much for the brake rod. Now, really, I should have put another hole up this way, but honestly, I don't think I'm having any problem. I probably didn't even need this hole back here in the back. But um, that's my homemade brake rod for the go-kart. Turned out pretty good. Uh, I think we have a good brake here. We got lots of room to go even up further on that brake rod. I mean, that's pushing pretty hard. We still got room to go more. So I think we'll have plenty of brake. And it just misses my tie rod. It just misses my tie rod. So we're in good shape. Well, that's how I built the brake rod for the go-kart. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you like. Till next time.